Hello there. This is a tutorial for the Kerbalism Science System. Kerbalism is a mod for Kerbal Space Program, or short, KSP. Kerbalism adds a lot of different features to the game, like life support, space weather and radiation belts. There also is a failure system and, besides a whole lot of other things, a new way of doing science in the game. This video will focus on the science system only. For that it will use a special configuration which disables all other features of Kerbalism. You can download this configuration from the website and the usual places. Links are in the description of this video. Every new career game starts with the same two contracts. Gather science from Kerbin and launch the first vessel. Build your first and only rocket that ever uses the flea booster and roll it out to the launch pad. So far so good, nothing different until now. Next we need to gather science from Kerbin. This is easy, just run a crew report. This is where the fun begins. Instead of one button that does the experiment instantly, you now have two. And when your part has a data storage, you also have a third button, but we will come to that later. This info button will open a new window that contains all the information you need to know about your experiments. Most importantly, how many science points you have already collected and how many it is worth in total. You can start and stop the experiment from this window, but you can also use the right-click menu on the part. Once started, you will see a few things. First of all, the experiment tells you that it is currently running and how much time it needs to finish. While the experiment is running, it will generate data in the data storage and if you look at the electric charge, you see that something is using it. When you click the top left icon on the experiment window, it will show additional information, like how much and how fast data is being generated, how long the experiment runs in total and how much electricity it needs. You can manage science data by clicking on the data button. This will open the Kerbalism file manager. In there, you can see all the experiments currently stored on the vessel. If we had an antenna on this vessel, we could already be transmitting the data to KSC. But without an antenna, we will have to recover the part that contains the data. When done, the crew report will automatically stop and go into the waiting state. This means that it will do nothing until there is new data to be collected. Usually, this happens when you move to the next biome or when the vessel situation changes. Watch what happens when I launch this rocket. The experiment automatically started recording because now there is new science to be done. The vessel situation changed to flying low in the atmosphere of Kerbin. You can see the new file being generated in the file manager. And the information in the experiment window was updated as well. The total value of the experiment now is 2.1 science points, which is more than double than it was before. This is because the value of an experiment depends on where you do it. Also, the remaining duration is back at 4.5 minutes. This means that we will have to be flying in the lower atmosphere for 5 minutes, which is not something that this rocket can do. We just won't be able to fly for that long. This means that we will not be able to do all of the experiment in this flight. But this is not a problem because Kerbalism allows you to do partial experiments and do the rest another time. When an experiment is only partially done, you will get a part of the science points. We are now landed and the experiment is running again. There is now a third file in the file manager. Watch what happens when we continue. The experiment stopped because it ran out of data storage capacity. It has no room to store the additional data. Without an antenna, all we can do now is recover the vessel. After recovery, Kerbalism displays a summary of how much science points you get for the data on the vessel. Build a rocket that can reach orbit. But this time we add an antenna, because we are going to record and transmit data at the same time. We also unlocked a new experiment, the thermometer. And this time we will also bring a mystery goo container. In Kerbalism there are two types of experiments, those that generate data and then there are samples. The crew report for instance generates data, as do most sensors like the thermometer. But the mystery goo container contains a sample mass. 
That sample mass needs to be exposed to different situations and then analyzed by scientists. While you can transmit data using an antenna, samples have to be recovered or processed in a mobile processing lab. Also, sample mass is limited. Once the 7.3 kilos of mystery goo are used up, you cannot use the experiment again. Let's look at something else. When you click on the top right Kerbalism button, this will open a list of all active vessels. When you click on any one vessel in that list, you will see the telemetry window. It shows you the most important information about your vessel, like how much battery there is and how long it is going to last. Move the mouse over the battery readout to see who is consuming electricity and how much. At the very top of that window you can switch to other telemetry panels. For instance, click on data to open the file manager for the vessel. You've already seen that. But click on data again, this time with the middle mouse button. This opens a new window that contains the file manager. The next tab is very powerful, the automation tab. In here you can enable and disable science transmission for this window. And you can also control the individual experiments and other devices. Clicking on the icon left of an experiment opens the experiment window. You can turn on an experiment by clicking on the status readout on the right. Now we have an experiment running and we are transmitting the data at the same time. Let's see what this does to our energy consumption. You see that transmitting data uses a lot of electricity, in this case more than the experiment itself. If this goes on, the battery will be empty in about 10 minutes. But if you disable science transmission for this vessel, all data will go into the data storage, which will fill up eventually, but your battery will last longer. We can risk emptying the battery for now because this vessel has an alternator in the engine. When all data for an experiment has been received by KSC, Kerbalism will show a message near the bottom of the screen. It tells you how much science points you got for finishing the experiment. Time to launch our second vessel. Note that the crew report started recording again, but this time it runs for 35 seconds only. This is because we did all the rest in the previous flight. Now let me show you something very cool about the Kerbalism telemetry. I'm switching to the tracking station to check on my vessel and you can see that the automation tab and all the other telemetry tabs of Kerbalism are still available. This means that you do not have to visit your craft if you want to turn on or off any experiments or the transmission of science data. Of course the file manager is accessible as well. There is another very nice trick in Kerbalism. In the telemetry window click the top left icon to switch to a vessel. Time to the orbit. But before we land, let's try to squeeze out the last bits of science of the mystery goo container. You see, when I turn on the goo experiment right now, it tells me that there is no more storage capacity for the sample. This is because the goo experiment still contains the sample that has been recorded on the launch pad before we launched. When moving the mouse over any file or sample in the file manager, Kerbalism will highlight the part that contains this sample or file. What I can do now is transfer this sample from the goo container into the command pod. I skipped ahead a little bit. Later in the tech tree you can unlock additional experiments that Kerbalism adds to probe cores. One of those experiments is MITE, which is designed to be launched on a polar satellite in lower orbit. MITE is a biome-specific experiment. This means that you will get science points while in lower orbit above any of Kerbin's biomes. The beauty of a polar orbit is that it will eventually pass over all the biomes on Kerbin. You don't have to watch your vessel all the time while it is collecting data. In Kerbalism, experiments continue to run on unloaded vessels, so you can go ahead and do other stuff while your polar satellite is collecting science data for you. This satellite has solar panels, so it can generate more electricity than what is needed for the experiment. 
Unfortunately, this satellite does not have any batteries, so when it goes into Kerbin's shadow, it will quickly run out of electricity, and Kerbalism will stop you time warping every time that happens. However, you can configure which events will trigger Kerbalism warnings. To do that, click on Config in the Telemetry window. There you will see a list of conditions that will trigger a Kerbalism warning message. So disable the warnings for low electricity and you're good to go. There is one more button in the science window that I have to show you before we finish. On top of the science window click the second icon from the left. This will open the science archive. The archive tells you which experiments you've already done, where you have done it and how much science there is left in the different biomes and situations. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching and have fun with Kerbalism.